I think the only oh. other question really was when using procedural <laughs> textures, do you always use object mapping? It depends. Usually I use object mapping because this way I also use it in here. So if I grab this stone here, for example, and I rotate it, um, the whole thing, the whole shader is based on the axis of the object and it will always stay relative to this axis. So when I rotate this object, the noises are um, in the same position. And that's something you, you want to have. It's uh, becoming a little bit more difficult when you start deforming it. I actually didn't test it with these stones, but um, if you want to rotate the noise itself, what you can do is you can enable modify axis mode and then rotate the axis. And here, now you can see that I'm rotating the shader, but I'm also adjusting the axis of the object. The shader always stays relative to um, the axis of the object when it's in object mode. But that's also what I like about it. 